Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my August empties. I know we're already like two weeks into September and I'm finally getting around to filming this, but I swear <laughs> I've been trying. We actually, I spent like the last couple of days decorating for fall. So I finally have the fall decor up. So you'll see that behind me in most of the new videos. But yeah, I finished off a ton of candles in August. I got through a lot of the last bits of summer. So I'm really excited to share with you guys what I got through. First, I'm gonna start with a single wick because I haven't actually gotten through a single wick in quite some time. I don't really use them that much anymore. I have a couple over here on my bedside table, but like that's the only single wicks that I own anymore. But this one is actually one that Ryan finished off downstairs in his office. For reference, that is my boyfriend. He does like kind of the more masculine scents in his office every now and then if he's down there gaming or working or whatever. So he did finish off Mahogany Vanilla. We adore this scent. It is one of my favorites. I think I already have, he has a mahogany teak wood um, that he's using now instead of this one, but I think I already have a mahogany vanilla on standby for him. Such an amazing scent. And this little single wick threw really well, especially in his room, like just one room, it was amazing. So I will consider repurchasing another single wick like this. Next time they have a sale or something, I will definitely get another mahogany vanilla. It is so good. Next, I finished off pink petal tea cake in the three wick. And yeah, this one was nice. Not anything I'm crazy about. The scent notes are pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. Yeah, not anything I'm crazy about, but I did finish it off at the end of summer. It was a nice, like, fresh scent. Here's my progress on it in the candle project pan that I have going. Um, I'm glad to have finished it off. I'm glad that I tried it, but it's not my favorite. I definitely smell only rose in this. I don't really get a lot of cake, um, and for that reason, I didn't really like it. I also got through a coconut sandalwood. I picked this one up during SAS for I think either $8 or $6. Here is my progress lines in my candle project pan. Finished it up all the way down to the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful scent. The notes on this are coconut palm, luxurious sandalwood, and jasmine. This was a really great scent. I love it, especially when I'm trying to just have the house smell like clean and fresh. Really good. I would definitely repurchase this. I feel like this is a great, honestly, year-round scent. The coconut doesn't really make it smell like summer to me. It just makes it smell kind of like fresh. So loved this one. I finished off one of my favorites, Cinnamon Spice Vanilla in Paris Cafe. I think I've finished off three of these in the past three months. Absolutely adore this scent. I think I have one or two more on backup that I'm going to save for a later date. But the notes on this are rich roasted coffee, vanilla creme, ground cinnamon, and sugar crystals. Just an amazing scent. It burns amazing. There's barely any soot that comes off of it. Like maybe a little bit, but that was at the very end. Um, just a great, great morning scent. Beautiful, like a cinnamon latte kind of scent. I loved it. And then this is the fifth and final candle that I finished off. This is actually from Homeworks in Chocolate Birthday Cake. I think I bought this back in April of this year and I'm finally getting through most of those um, Homeworks candles that I did that I made a purchase for in April. So <laughs> the notes on this are dark and milk chocolate, espresso powder, warm vanilla, and whipped cream. This one was nothing special, honestly. It was all right. It burned really well. Pretty much no sitting at all. It smelled like chocolate cake, but it was not very strong, um, especially for a four wick. Most of this Homeworks candles that I've been trying are pretty strong. This one was a little bit of a letdown just because it was, I would say more of like a five or six on throw. So like a medium throw. Um, didn't really have an amazing scent. It just smelled like chocolate icing. So this one was fine. Definitely would not repurchase it, repurchase it though. A few home fragrance empties. I finished off two wallflower bulbs. I'm starting to replace my scents in my house for fall scents now. I think this one was Wildberry Donut or Wildberry Jam Donut. This We had this one downstairs in like the foyer right when you walk in. I love to have a bakery scent in there because it smells like I'm baking <laughs> in my house. And I replaced it with warm apple pie and it smells so good down there. And then the other one I believe is from the bathroom. Some sort of citrus scent. I can't really tell exactly what it was, but it's some sort of citrus scent. And I replaced it with blackberries and basil. And that one's really nice in the bathroom. And then I did get through three Scentsy Wax Bars. I got through Blueberry Rush, which this one was nice. It's not like super strong or anything, but I did like the kind of blueberry scent, just kind of like an into summer nice scent. 
uh, pina colada cha cha. I love this scent. It is so yummy. It smells just like a pina colada. Oh, it's delicious. That one is so good. I'll definitely get that again if they bring it out. And pink sugarberry mint, which this one was nice. It's just like a super sweet and sugary scent. Nothing special, but it was really nice and, and yummy. So I enjoyed all of these. Okay, let's get into body care because that's pretty much the rest of this bin. And then I have some skincare and hair care empties too, but I know you guys are what, gonna wanna see the body care stuff. So let me start with that. I finished off a set in Beach Nights. I loved this scent all summer long. It was definitely like my favorite scent of the summer. I finished off a full-size body lotion and a full-size shower gel. So definitely, definitely loved this scent. The notes are toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla. Really great scent. It definitely does have though like a driftwood, like outdoorsy kind of feel. It's not just marshmallows. I feel like this and Bonfire Bash should have, should have switched names because Bonfire Bash is really a marshmallow scent. <laughs> and this one's really a bonfire scent. So I don't know what they did with the name names on those, but I really did love the scent and I enjoyed it so, so much. And I'm glad that I already bought a backup. So I'm ready for next summer to use this again. Another just like random one-off, I finished off White Pumpkin and Chai in the body lotion la from last year, I think, or from 2020. Yeah, this is from 2020 actually. I already have a backup from last year. <laughs> the notes on this are cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin and vanilla glaze. I was just trying to get rid of this because honestly I had like very little left from last year before fall actually came. So it was really nice, especially when I was like in the mood for fall. <laughs> but yeah, I finally finished this off and I'm just happy to have used up another full size lotion. I also finished off, well, Ryan and I finished off the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Shower Gel. Oh my God, we love this so much. Ryan like actually loved it more than me. He used it so much. It is a beautiful scent. It just smells exactly like, uh, the Bum Bum Cream, it smells so good and I'll get it again next summer. It was just really, really amazing. Okay, we finished off five soaps. I don't know how we got through so many soaps last month, but we did. So I got through a H-E-B Margarita. I just picked that up like randomly and we used it in the kitchen, I think. Um, we got through Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day in Lavender. This was, I think, left over from the previous tenants at our apartment. So it's been here for a long time, so we finally finished it. We finished off a Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. I had this one going in our um, half bath downstairs that like most everyone uses when they come over. The notes are Marshmallow Fluff, Vanilla Bean, and Creamy Caramel. I love this one. I pretty much get it every summer, and it's just like a really nice, sweet, sugary scent that's really good for summer. Ryan finished off a white t-shirt downstairs in his office. Really love this scent. It's just like a very nice crisp scent. It is crisp pear, lavender cloud, and soft sandalwood. Yeah, just like a really great fresh scent. And we really enjoyed that one. And then I finished off a strawberry pound cake on my sink upstairs. And I just love this. I think that was a great transition to fall scent. It is beautiful for year round, honestly. I love strawberry pound cake. I've been kind of craving it lately. So I might have to pick up like a set in the mini body care just to use it up and get my cravings on because I I miss it. I kind of miss it. And then I did finish off one um, hand sanitizer in BU Bubbly Rosé. I'm trying to get through some of these because I had like a really big back stock of them from um, I think Winter SAS from last year that I had just been holding on to and like not finishing. So I'm trying to finish all of them. And then I finished off a Mix Bar Mini Perfume in Cloud Musk. This one was actually really good. Um, I've been loving trying out the Mix Bar perfumes. I got a set of them from, I think, Ross, and I really did enjoy them. Vanilla Bourbon, though, is my favorite that I've tried, and I'm definitely going to pick that up in a full size sometime soon. Okay, I have one makeup empty, and that's the NYX Butter Gloss in, uh, what is this, Glazy Days. I think this was from an advent calendar in, like, 2015 or something. Super old. It just didn't work anymore and then it cracked and I couldn't open it. So I just finally bit the bullet and bought a full size that is not expired. So got rid of this one. And then I have two skincare empties. This is from Ryan's skincare routine. This is the Urban RX Witch Hazel Toner. I got this for him because he was having some problems with dark spots and hyperpigmentation after um, he had like some bad acne earlier in the year. It didn't work though. I would not suggest this one. So do not, do not get this one. Um, one that I would suggest though that I love for my skin, it's definitely helped with my texture. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. I already repurchased it. It is a little expensive. I want to say $35 or $40, but 
It is so worth it. I use it morning and night. It's honestly helped so much with my pores and I just, I absolutely love it. And I know Glow Recipe is such a good brand as well. And then I finished off two random hair products, the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse, which I already repurchased. This is like a uh, standby for me since high school. Another standby is the Garnier for Tea Sleek and Shine Hairspray. I also love this stuff as well. It's like the only thing that doesn't leave my hair crunchy and crispy. So finished off this one and I've already repurchased it. Okay, so that is everything for today's video. That is all of my empties. I think I did so good on candles this month. I finished off four full-size candles and one mini. I finished off three full-size body care items and five hand soaps. Like I, I don't know what happened to me last month, but I was really trying to get through a lot of the last bit of summer stuff so I could finally transition to fall. I've been like waiting for fall all year and it's finally here and if you guys have not seen I did post a short the other day of my fall adventures from this weekend and it's just been really nice I love being in my own home and doing whatever I want during fall like baking and watching movies and it was just a really nice weekend so if you guys haven't checked out my shorts you can check it out there I did actually post it on TikTok which I also have linked on my YouTube but yeah go check that out for me and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.